before we go so live on the radio, who, who, who <laughs> introduce yourselves? Who are you? I'm Lucy Ramsey, and I'm passionate about South Africa, and I'm passionate about what they do. I'm running late. I'm running late. I'm running late for the radio. Good morning everybody. I am on my way to Hashtag Radio. We're starting up a travel chat with Marilise and Patricia. Travel chat, they say, with Marilise and Patricia. Is that the way we're starting? That's how it is. That's how we are. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Uh, travel chat, they say, on Hashtag Radio. And no idea what to expect really. We're, we're just going in, we're talking travel, we're talking video from my side. Um, maybe give you some hints and tips on the radio waves and just tell the world a little bit about what we're actually doing. Look at that traffic. I'll be completely honest with you, I feel a little underprepared for some reason. I feel like I, I should have done something more to prepare for being on the radio for two hours. But at the same time, I think, no, I don't think, I know what I'm talking about. So it's like, it's not like, Oh my god, am I gonna get something wrong? Well, no, you, you, I know exactly what it is that I do. I, I know what it is that I'm capable of teaching and I won't go beyond a line that I don't know. So, you know, what more do you need to prepare? Nothing, I think you just be yourself. You do, you share knowledge that you feel is relevant and stuff that you feel confident talking about and stay within those parameters some behind the scenes thinking while I'm driving on my way to the radio radio hashtag radio is in the Milnerton Mall which is this building here behind me this is actually where I grew up um, I spent many 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 hours skateboarding in this car park right here uh, with my old friend Jenny Co um, yeah I learned to ollie over there I learned to do my first kickflip over there just thought I'd throw that in there, some nostalgic memories of growing up in Milnerton in Cape Town. Never mind the lift, we're getting some exercise in. The other person joining me on the show today is Nosy Rosie, she actually sent me the invite and we're on the second floor. Nosy Rosie aka Lisa Buerta is actually Chris Butcher's mother. Chris, you might remember, we've done some videos in the past. We're going to be doing some more videos in the future. I'm out of breath. Keep going. It's only the third floor. Hashtag radio. Five minutes, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm de-sweating still. Yeah, sure. I know, I ran. Yeah, no, I figured. That works. It's lovely. I know. <laughs> I wish I was a fantastic guest in studio mm. today. We're going to introduce them um, in a few minutes. Um, not one, not two, but three. Three guests. Yes. And you can follow gadgets. us. Yes, and come with gadgets. gadgets. And we'll, we'll go live on yeah. Facebook um, um, just after the break. <laughs> <laughs> and because she's an adventurous lady, yeah, she also works with, with people who are capturing the adventures. And that's where Lee comes into the party. Good morning. Hi, Lee. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit more about, about your concept and All right. what are you doing and then we're going to go into a short music break and then we'll come up to that. So my name is Dean Parman and um, myself and a partner Darren Barker, we started a business called TravelVids.tv which is focused on travel and video and bringing those two ideas as a, two separate things, bring them together. I'll explain a little bit more about that. Um, 
I just want to jump a little bit further back into my history to say how I got up to this point because I think it's quite interesting to see that journey and that process. Basically, I, I started out uh, in theater, in acting. And we were sitting backstage at the Artscape one day and we were saying like, oh, how cool would it be to be a tour guide, like an animated actor tour guide? So a friend and I put together this, yeah. So we put together this theater show that was um, an incredible spectacle of, a walk of Cape Town. It was called Sex and Slaves in the City. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it, it was a, a musical theatre piece that was at the same time a walking tour of the city. And that developed, that was around 2009, became a tour guide. From that I ventured more and more into the film industry, um, where I stayed with a production company for quite a few years and worked as a film videographer and an editor. So I'd, I'd added another skill and then, yeah, sort of after a while, I kind of, I didn't know which place to fit into exactly. And I thought, you know, my 30th birthday is coming up, where do you want to be in life? And I thought, okay, I've got these three skills, let's turn them into one. And that's where I took the presenting, the talking to camera, the ability to film and edit yourself, and to take this sort of taking people around in a travel capacity, mash it up into one job. And we started sort of just vlogging, just doing this capture your experience. And through that, it taught me to analyze what I did myself because it comes very naturally for me to film. Yes. But I know we're coming into a world where everybody wants to have more video. And, and I think it, that counts for businesses as well as individuals, private people. They, people want to have the ability to create video. But there's that like barrier to entry always. Like, oh, I, I don't know what to do. It's too expensive. It's but stressful. It's stressful. Exactly. Oh, it's very personal as well because you interpret. You know, so, yeah, so the, the idea of travel vids was how do I make this easy? How do I make possibilities for anybody to be able to start video? And in essence, that's what travel vids is. It's a education platform at, at the first step. So we want to give people solutions how to create video. Uh, the starting point should be with your phone. You know, don't go out and buy expensive gear. Learn how to do it with your phone. And if you get really good and, and if you enjoy it and if you're having fun, then definitely you can take I'm it from there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's sort of the journey of what got me to here. There are other sides to travel vids that are sort of much more travel intensive heavy so for example i'm going to kenya now for a month to go film there and, oh, and yeah so this is like this exciting stuff happening but but at the forefront at the heart of it um for me as a tour guide back in the day i used to go see people hold up their phone and film penguins you know <laughs> and and they're just they're they're missing their holiday they're not enjoying themselves because they they're so anxious that they're not filming enough or they don't know what they'd be doing so Basically, I wanted to teach people what shots to get so that you can pack your phone away and enjoy your holiday and that's the, the essence of it. Yeah, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> My main focus at the moment is to keep um, travel vids going on YouTube. So I'm posting twice a week regularly so you can be sure that Wednesdays and Sundays you've got videos and a lot of it is tip based videos because learning how to film is actually, it's the easiest part. People think that's the hard part, but the hardest part is knowing what to film. Mm. What is your story? You know, t learning, you're like people go, oh, I want to film a sunset. What does that mean to film a sunset? Well, you got to think about like, where are you? Why are you there? Who are you with? So those are the type of questions we make you ask yourself so that you can build a story very quickly with your phone. And you can see when, on, when you share things on social media, what gets attention and what not. It's, it's the real things that get attention. Mm. Um, uh, if I can add there, yes. I think that's also why video has become such an important tool is because it's very hard to be fake on a video yeah. without mm. people picking it up straight yeah. away. You yeah. can see if somebody's like, this is so much fun. It's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it, it's Your hard, yes. pretty much. So I think that's yeah. also where that comes in. Well, the next week, same place, same time, yeah. with new guest in studio. It was absolutely was riveting. Awesome. That was a whole lot more fun than I expected. It was really cool. Thank you to Nosy Rosie for the invitation, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.